Hi guys, today we'll be doing a integration by parts problem. The problem is x times ln of x dx. To do this problem, we'll use this rule. Uh, the integral of u dv dx equals uv minus the integral of v du. And to figure out what, uh, which term is u and wh uh, which term is dv, we'll use this acronym right here, which, uh, which stands for uh, logarithmic, inverse trig, algebraic, trig, and exponential. So uh, x we have here is algebraic, and ln of x is logarithmic. So the rule is that you always set whatever term comes earlier in this acronym. So ln of x is logarithmic, x is algebraic, and logarithmic comes first in this list right here. So we will set our u to ln of x. And now we need to find the other parts of this. We have u, we need to find dv, we need to find v, and we need to find uh, dv. Or And dv we can find by simply whatever is left over. For example, ln of x was u. So in this, uh, if you see here, uh, what's left is x. So x will be set to dv. So dv equals x. And now all we have to do is manipulate the u and dv to in, in order to get du and v. So to find du, we'll just simply take the derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x dx. And to find the integral of dv, or to find v, we can take the integral of dv, which is just v equals x squared over 2. We call that this is an antiderivative uh, rule that you can do here from x to x squared uh, over 2. Now we have all four of our variables that we need. The next step is just to plug in and simplify. So the integral of x ln of x dx equals u times v and u once again is ln of x v is x squared over 2 minus the integral of v, which is x squared over 2, times du, and du is 1 over x dx. Now, the next step is just to simplify. So, we can leave this side the same, since it's just done, basically. And this side, inside here, as you can see, 1 half is a constant in front of x squared. So, we can bring the 1 half up front, and remember this is sub minus the integral because as you can see that's the rule right here. So we brought the one half out here as a constant, and what we're left is x squared times 1 over x. And this simply is ln of x times x squared over 2 because the left side remains the same right now, 1 half the constant. And then over here, this would be x squared over x. Now, x squared over x is just x. So, we would end up with ln of x times x squared over 2 minus 1 half the integral of x. So, when taking the integral of x is pretty easy, and we did that right here, as you can see up here, we took the integral of, uh, of x, which is just x squared over 2. So we can just do that here again. So this is being multiplied by 1 half. And then the left side, we had ln of x times x squared over 2. Now to simplify all this, ln of x times x squared over 2, left side is the same, subtracted by x squared over 4. And we got the 4 because 2 times 2 is 4, it's a negative, and so on. So, and that is your final answer, plus c. Don't forget the c. A lot of teachers look for the c.